Okay guys, uh, I was on my way back to Barrett Park today, walk around, do a little walkabout, pick me up some more edibles, some wild greens, things like that. And I'm walking across this bridge right here, right along the roadway, on up this curve and around the bend of the rights where Barrett Park is. And land right down here, and that's niche right here. We have uh, this little guy. Smile for the camera. Not too big. 14, 15 inches long. Perfect specimen. North American common water snake. Not a water moxin, not a cotton mouth. There are no water moxins, there are no cotton mouths, not in Massachusetts, not in many, many states, especially up here in the northeastern United States. But we do have the common water snake. Water moxin, or what they also call cotton mouth, which is uh, the same snake, water moxin, water moxin cotton mouth, same exact snake. Uh, they do not live this far north. They cannot live this far north. The climate is not uh, tolerating them very well. So they stay closer to down south. There's only one county, I'm, like I said, I just moved up here from Kansas. There's only one county in Kansas down extreme, uh, extreme southeastern Kansas that even has a water moxin. But as you can see, I've, he was thrashing around a little bit. He's already bit me a couple of times. But uh, see him hanging there. They get, they get the, the idea that you're not actually out to do them harm. They do simmer down. They settle down. And this little guy, he's a fish eater. This one right here. They do eat a lot of fish. Down here in this little crate, catch minnows, frogs, things like that. That's all part of his natural diet. And this water here is his natural habitat. See if we can zoom in here and get a little close up on this. Look at there, look at that smile, isn't that beautiful? That's a pretty snake. Yeah. Natural instincts where you want to take home something like this. If you're an amateur herpetologist or just, you know, like, you like critters. Your natural instinct is to want to take this guy home, put him in an aquarium, try to feed him mice. You know, you're not really sure what he is. You know he's a snake and you know he's not poisonous. But uh, you want to take him home, keep him for a pet. Well, these guys, it doesn't matter what you do, how good of an aquarium you build, how good of an enclosure you build, they will get out, guys. They get out and they escape. And unfortunately for them, when that happens, unless you live right next door to a creek, stream, pond, watershed of some sort, if he gets out, he will die. He's away from his native habitat, from his food source. Like I said, he's fish and frog eater. He doesn't really do so much mice and things like that. So he's not gonna do well if he crawls up under your house and lives up under your house away from his environment. But uh, you just gotta be aware of that. Guys, if you have to pick them up, if you have to handle them, be gentle, be careful. Make sure your hands are clean. I have antibacterial with me at all times. I'll oh, see, look, natural, natural snake repellent there. See that? Their instincts are you, you get a hold of them, biting you doesn't work, crawling away doesn't work. They tend to defecate. So that's a snake feces. That's whatever he ate, I don't know, last time he ate. So yeah, he just crapped on me, guys. That's what they do. It's another way of defending themselves because I tell you what, it smells something awful. Anyway, this guy here, as cute as he is, so you can get another frame of him here, as cute as he is, the best thing for him is for him to go home. So we're going to put him right back down here where we found him. Let him go on about his merry business. There you go, little fella. Happy hunting to you. Like I said, guys, it is real tempting to take stuff like that home, but it's better them just to leave them in their natural environment. And by all means, please, please, please do not pick up a snake. If you don't know what species it is, I've handled these guys thousands of times. I've been probably snake bitten well over 500 times in my life, only once by something that was mildly venomous. But uh, these little guys, they do bite. They will bite in a hurry. Just don't pick up anything, you don't know what it is. I've handled a lot of things, everything pretty much walks, swims, crawls, or flies, I, I, I'll handle. 
but I have respect for it. I know what it is before I pick it up. If I have a slight doubt, I'm not going to mess with it or I'm going to be extremely careful if I do. Uh, like I said, I'm an amateur herpetologist, been doing this for a little while, you know, a couple of decades or so, but uh, I don't recommend it for anybody else, not just anybody anyway. If you know what you're doing, by all means, get close to wildlife, observe it. Maybe, if, like I said, if you have to pick it up, make sure your hands are clean, make sure you clean your hands before, make sure you clean your hands after. Uh, but leave them, leave them where they live, guys. Leave them in their environment. Don't take them home.